Coley by far was the nicest dude in Harlem. I don't care what nobody say. Who? Big L. Big L. Big L. Big L. Coley, yeah. Coley, Coley, yeah. like Coley was the best. Coley on. No, I get it. He was the best mm -hmm. rapper that ever come out of Harlem in our generation. I don't think nobody from Harlem would disagree with that. Mm. If, they do, if they shit. do, they being unjust. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? Telling more about them than they are about the scene. Yeah. Telling on themselves. Yeah. That so, was vicious, man. There was a time when them, I remember in that er era, uh, getting a guy from Harlem became the thing for like every label. It's like everybody wanted to get at least one Harlem dude. Every crew had to have a dude from Harlem. Started with Heavy D getting McGruff. And next thing you know, Diddy gets Mace. And no, L was digging in the crates. No, L, mm -hmm. no, L, no yeah, but L was. Lord, that's digging in the yeah, crates. but I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I mean, he was the first. Yeah, because right. that's that's why I don't count it. Because when he did it, it wasn't about getting a Harlem dude. Lord Finesse just got somebody who's nice. Yeah, it wasn't. He didn't get him because he was from Harlem. He got him because he, he was, was nice. He was a beast. Right. But then a Harlem MC became the thing to go get for every label and every crew. They seemed to, it, it, that picked up with McGruff. No, yeah. nobody's disputing that. Yeah. yeah. Him putting Harlem on the map in that way, nobody's disputing that at all. But he didn't make it. Wasn't the du jour when L got signed? It was because he was the <laughs> out of everybody rapping. And as much of a beast as as Lord Finesse was himself, for him to get another guy and be like, okay, this dude. Yeah, that was big. Yeah, pass, right. passing passing the torch to L was crazy. Yo.